Hey guys, welcome to the Arzin channel. Today we're going to take a look at my Mayu Mini transparent or translucent that I modified. Uh, a lot of you guys have been showing interest on the community tab. So if you're not part of the community tab yet, you know, go check it out. Keep the notifications on so you can check it out yourself and like and subscribe, be part of the family. Also, I was showing off this device, this little fellow over here, and it's really nice. It turned out very stealthy, very beautiful. The concave buttons give it a lot of depth, and uh, uh, SNES kind of look. And we're going to take a look at it on the dissection table. <laughs> so this here is uh, the concave buttons that I have filed down. They were pocket go buttons, yes, and I kind of sanded them down to get rid of the uh, shininess because the pocket go buttons like these over here are very shiny as you can see. I used a um, lower or higher, it's a lower grid paper, sanding paper, to uh, make them look a little less shiny. This is an RK2020 button uh, D-pad and I just, it was a drop-in replacement, very easy to do, very nice. And also I kind of filed down the uh, legends and they don't leave behind any uh, sanding, uh, you know, effects or residue or smooth, uh, smooth uh, marks. Now let's as well uh, talk about how we're going to put ionize on this operating system. First things first, you need to check out if you have the latest operating system from Mayu on this device. And you can do that by going to the settings. Device info. And we can see that this one here is kind of the version number is not the one that we're looking for. Actually, this version number is from 1, you know, January and the 8th uh, day of January. So it's not the newest one. And this is not the one that we're looking for. We're looking for uh, 2022-0419. Uh, this is 0108. So that's not the one we're looking for. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn off the device. You can just turn it off like this. And you you got to have handy a USB cable, a USB Type-C cable, of course. It's not going to transfer any data over it. So we're going to take out the SD card after turning off the device. It's turned off when the LED is turned off. I'm going to take out the SD card and plug it into your PC. So uh, let me go back to this over here. My PC is showing up that the SD card is plugged in indeed. And the information of the SD card looks somewhat like this. Let it just minimize a little bit. This is what it looks like inside the SD card. Now, I got two files that you got to download from uh, the description down below. One is the Mayo Mini upgrade to the latest version. And one is Onion V310.1 uh, uh, beta. So that is the latest one that I am going to use. It's on the GitHub page of Onion. And I'm going to link you guys over to there in the description. So this is the root of the SD card. Mostly they call this the root. That means that is the initial thing that greets you when you open the SD card up to browse, if you didn't know that. So we go into the Mayo Mini upgrade and then the firmware. And then we take the image file over here and copy it over to the SD card. This is because um, we're going to plug in the SD card and the Mayo Mini will be in charging mode. You don't turn it on. It's just in charging mode. And it will kind of, you know, take the image file and read it and update it by itself. Until it's done, it will just, uh, if it's not uh, detecting it, it will just show that it's charging. And if it detects it, that means that it says system update on it. Because the operating system of the Maya Mini is on the SD card itself. So what you're going to do is we're going to switch back to the camera. And then we plug it back in like this. And then we plug in the USB Type-C cable. And there it goes. It goes into system upgrade. So make sure that you have a good SD card. And I recommend plugging it into your PC because it didn't work for me before. Now it is in system upgrade mode. We keep the power adapter connected and never turn it off because you don't want to break yours. It's going to update to the latest firmware. So now it turns off the display and goes back into the operating system. Um, but it goes into charging mode. So I think that's what it's going to do. Yes, that's how we like to see it. And then we can pull out the USB cable. And once again, I'm going to tell you guys, it's better to use a reputable source uh, 
a reputable source SD card because you don't want it to corrupt. Even though the operating system is on the device itself, not on the SD card, I do suggest that you use a good SD card. That's always better because your save files are as valuable as the operating system. We go to settings, you can check the uh, device info. It's kind of bright, but uh, I hope it will show up correctly like this. It's a little bit more uh, clear. So this is uh, now it's on 0419. So that means that it is quite recent. And this is the one we're looking for. Now we can uh, turn it off again. Say OK. And then it is time to go to the Onion OS operating system. So on the page that I linked down in the description below to Onion, uh, we have a place to uh, download all the uh, files and also a way to know how to do it yourself from a fresh install. You have it over here, all the instructions, but we're going to go through that anyways. First, we go to releases, which is on the side, and then it says that you need firmware uh, 2022 which we did install just a while back on the internal memory of the Mayu Mini, not on the SD card, the internal memory. So this one has an internal memory, you need to keep that in mind. Uh, this is firmware 3.10 and it is uh, still in beta testing and stuff like that. So you have be uh, the beta version uh, 3.10 0.5 and 0.6 here. You can download either one of them and then keep it with you and then unzip them, of course. And now after you unzip them in your own directory, you can do a fresh install. So you format your SD card to FAT32. If you have a 32 GB SD card, then no problem. You can do that all with Windows using the Partition Manager. The Partition Manager can uh, make it FAT32 instead of XFAT and NTFS. Um, so you got to keep that in mind. And then you unzip the TMP update. Uh, the problem with my case is that I'm going to use a 64 GB SD card. And if you're using anything larger, you want it to be FAT32 as well. So I am going to use an app called Disk Genius. Um, you can find it on the internet with a simple Google search. Uh, either you pay for it or you don't. It's up to you. You can see it for yourself. Because the uh, free version is very limited. So you either need to get yourself another one or use one that is uh, suddenly has all the features and says that it's cracked but i you know i'm not responsible if you do that so inside this genius we have a generic usb 3.0 sd card which is 60 gb we want to delete all partitions which is currently grayed out as you can see over here uh, because it's unallocated anyways so mine is unallocated already and we're going to quick partition it because it's unallocated. But first you start off, if yours is populated, you want it to be fresh and completely formatted. You delete all partitions and then you follow along with quick partition. In quick partition, we go over to custom. We say one partition in this case. We don't do NTFS. We go to FAT32 and the default size, of course. Um, don't lock it, please. Uh, and here we press OK. And then we, it will start doing that, and we have system F. So the file label is F, you need to know that. And then you can close this genius, it did its job, it's FAT32 as you can see over here. And then we can, as it says over here, unzip the .tmp underscore update folder in its contents into the root of your SD card. We go over to um, this one over here, and here you have tmp.update, and then I copy it. And in this PC, we go back and we have the system F, which is an SD card, of course. You have to be sure that it's the SD card, not another type of memory. And then you paste it over here. And it will take some time. Now, once you have the uh, TMP underscore update file inside your SD card, feel free to uh, plug it out of your PC. This is the SD card. I got it out. And then we plug it into, uh, of course, the place where the other SD card was into the Mayu Mini. Let's go over to this table. And then we turn it on. And once you turn it on, you boot up your Mayu Mini and follow the on-screen instructions to get started. And 
there you have a screen which is different than normally. It says Onion Installation, and it is installing cores. You got to give it some time. Now my camera turned off, so I don't have all the information that I just did thought I, wa I was filming. So I'm going to say it uh, like this. Um, after you initialize all the cores, as happened just a while back, um, the uh, screen will come that says this, consoles, apps, and expert tabs. So in the first tab, consoles, you can choose all the consoles that you want to put on your device and on your Onion OS. And after that, you can press left or right to go to different tabs, and you go to the apps tab. And then you can tick all the apps that you want and all the experts uh, selections that you want as well. And then you press start to go and let it install all the apps onto your Onion OS. And then later on after that, you press any button for it to uh, go into a reboot. After that, you take out your SD card of your Mayu Mini and we reach to the point where I'm at right now. Check out with me that ROMs are you know, something you can put on yourself. Save files, you can transfer them from the other SD card if you have played on it already. And we have the BIOSes, we need to transfer them or put them on there. If you have a list of BIOSes and stuff like that, you can put them back in there if you got that. And for the rest, I would suggest that you uh, check out all the folders with the uh, systems inside of it. You can check all the systems that you have. And then you populate every system. Uh, make sure that it has the same spelling when you copy them. It's going to be some work, but it is worth it because it has a lot more systems than the ones on the original operating system. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely go for Onion OS. Now, that's it for today, guys. That's all I wanted to show off to you guys. I will definitely look into the comment section for any constructive feedback. Now, I'm going to do some uh, live streaming also in the coming month, and I'll be getting into that soon as well. So membership will be suddenly popping up on this channel and, and stuff like that. I'll, I'm working on a lot of stuff and a lot of plans for the future. So stay tuned, like and subscribe, be part of the family. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.